Alright, let's get fucking started with this shit, eh? <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys all for coming. We got the merge, and we got we got Kathy as well, as she did had a pretty big part in the pre-merge. Um, so, I'm going to start by asking everybody one question a couple, about their game a little bit, and people can build off that, and then we'll talk about some big topics at the end, and we'll reveal our fan favorite and player of the season. Not a lot of people voted, but... You know, we still got to do it. All right, so we'll start off with Kathy since, you know, she got 11th place. Worst here, I guess, eh? All right, so Kathy, you had a huge part in the pre-merge. You found an idol. You didn't play it. Your tribe swap, it seemed like you had the numbers, and then Vin flipped the script and got Leah to vote you out. Um, what do you think you could have done differently to maybe avoid that blind side? Play your idol, obviously, but... I mean, what else do you think you could have done differently in your game to maybe go farther and link up with your boy Christian? Um, not get hurt in flip cup. That would have helped, yeah. Because apparently that was Vin's reason for voting me out. Um, oh. Uh, you said that multiple times, and that's what every other person said, was because you didn't want to take an injured player. So... I guess that, but yeah, I'm playing the idol, um, but there wasn't really That's much I nonsense. could do. That was that was definitely a good blind side. Got to give it to him. Bitter at all? Seemed kind of pissed afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was. Um, just I guess just because I didn't see it coming, um, and. Thought I could make it further, but Kathy, if you last yeah. thing for you, and then we'll move on to uh, Christian. Um, if you would have made the merge and had a vote for who won, who would you would have picked out of the three that made the final three? From what you observed, Emily. Emily. All right, sweet. All right, next up, Lockie Chris. It says on this name thing. I don't know if that's right or not. I think it's Gangsta Chris, but Christian. You laid low, proud of you. I don't know how the hell you did that in the beginning of the game. You had some big plans, it seemed like, against Cody, you and your brother, and Emily and Lita. Guys kept winning, so nothing happened there. To be honest, you going out, I've never seen any season that we've done that many people that shocked that that actually went down. I don't know if people just didn't think it was actually going to happen, even though the majority voted for you, or what? Christian. I know you're pissed at Bree and John because they flipped the script on you and they went out immediately after you. Having said that, I know you have talked to them pretty right after they got out. Um, if you got past that vote, seeing how good the Jersey lines, Vin, Emily, and Corey did after you got out, you think you would have won the game? Or how far do you think you had the possibility to go? There's 0% chance of me winning that season if I did not win out. It's plain and simple because soon as if my now here's the thing, if I had survived that bro vote with my brother still there, I don't know. If Corey went out instead of me, it might have been a different story. Um, it was me or him. People knew he had an idol, and somehow that ended up working to his advantage. I, it, I have no idea how. Um, I think the people that flipped made probably the dumbest move in Survivor history. Uh, Survivor Whitewater, are you kidding me? Because these people lied to you and that voted you out. You could have been at the top of a secret alliance that we were supposed to be. I'm talking to you, Bree, specifically. Instead of that we had the night before. And instead, you decided to go ahead. And I was willing to work with you. And all you talked about at the last tribal council was none of the people there wanted to work with you. I was willing to work with you, and these people lied to you, and then voted you out next. They used you. I don't know about you, but I hate to see nice guys finish last, man. I'm telling you. And I don't know so how the think. hell I was the nice guy this season. That makes no damn sense. Yeah. None. But it's how it went down. Do I think I could have won the game? Yeah, because the challenges after, 
I like my chances. All right. Survivor flip cup the next round. Beating your brother, you think? You would have got clapped. Shut the fuck up. Did, you did, did, I, did I not beat you in the other flip cup game? You would have. You go, yeah. Well, we were on the same team. Well, I'm not talking. I'm not, I'm not getting into this. This I'm is what I'm here for. Oh, Nathan, did you win that challenge? No, Corey did. Exactly. So, nah, we're fine. Damn. Corey won it. And I know I beat him, so. All right, thanks, Chris. <laughs> we'll get back to you, I'm sure. So, next up, Bree Nevers. Seemed like you were by yourself pretty much the whole entire game. And you, I mean, ultimately you might have made a mistake voting Krishna just because you followed the vote right after. Um, but you, I think people got to give you a little more credit. I think you really played with no one. You know, you won a lot of challenges in a row to get back into the game after you had a bad tribe swap. Um, you know, like... What do you think could have gone? What could have gone differently? I know people that you wanted to work with, like JP and Grant, were out of the game very early, so you didn't have many people to go to. Um, like, what do you think you could have done differently? Clearly, like people are still like willing to work with you, but it just didn't work out, and I think people are still afraid that you know you still have our winner of Survivor. Um. Yeah. Honestly, like I could have gone with Christian, which honestly was said. Um. But I always felt like no matter when that game, I was by myself. And um, I felt like, okay, so say I went with Christian and then Cody got out. Well, I feel like at the same time, like maybe I was out next because I made it win more challenges and I am a target. So no matter whenever I try to swap two, that's always my weakness. I always get out no matter what. So honestly, I don't know. Like if I went with like Christian and like the Jersey group, I know I wouldn't make it like, in the end, because Jersey Group was strongest together, and so no matter where my odds were, I think I was going to get out. Um, that was not so. that existent of an alliance. I just got to say it right now, because I know for a fact that Emily would have been very willing to vote out Vin. I know Emily would have been very willing to vote on me. Uh, to be honest, that game might have been the only one, like, Corey probably would have voted me out. I know what you said he wasn't going to. He wasn't going to until there's like, five right. or six people left. False. You're damn right I would have voted you out. Exactly. <laughs> so people are looking at it like it was that big of a deal. It really wasn't. Just like me being paired with Kathy, are you kidding me? You all have a pair in the game. It doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't. My own brother was going to vote me out. I was alone until I had Kathy on my team. That's really. not true at all. That's not true at all. My you know. Christian, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> You did nothing but just be perfect, except you did vote out <laughs> Kathy because you got a little jealous that I was working with her more. Uh, I voted out Kathy because Nathan had a beautiful smile and I wanted him to myself. That's pretty much. I what think happened. me and Parvati really talked about it. <laughs> Are you telling me Nathan's basically the new Parvati with the nice little smirk? Like holy shit! Pretty much, <laughs> honestly. If me and Corey talked about it, Christian, you might have been out. Uh, I would have never voted Christian out because I'd rather battle it out with Christian than battle it out with anybody else. Because if yeah. I win, think, Actually, if I was to win fun. against anybody, I wouldn't win against Christian. That's because valid. then I can hold that over for the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I got you, Corey. See, I, I just couldn't have Christian Kathy happening. What, what was so powerful about that? Like, really, what, what was, what's the big deal? There's, what, nine other people in the game at the time. Like, it's not yeah, like we were like, doing everything. And like I said, I was working with Bree, too. Like, seek. And Lita. But Chris. Oh, you could go. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was saying, Chris, like, I mean, I, I didn't. All I hear is you talk about your Survivor game and how you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then, and then I played with Kathy, and Kathy was doing good. So I didn't want to risk, like, I didn't, I, I'm not going to lie, I didn't watch the season of Christian and Kathy, like, yet, but I'm saying, like, I, I, I just, there's such a, oh, I have, actually, but, yeah, well, that's, but, but there's, there's just the reputation of it, and I wasn't dealing with that. Well, I think that people should have been then just as scared of me and Cody, we just weren't on the same, because it was a three-way alliance there. I tried working with you, buddy. You didn't have anything to give me, and you were kind of sketchy. How can you hold that against me, though? 
I can't, but like, how can, <laughs> but like, how can you build trust if there's no information to build on? <clears throat> you Which is a bad situation when you talk about it. That's all it is. You gotta have that. You have to have an opportunity to build trust. You guys you didn't even get a chance to vote before that, so like. Yes, yeah, I had yeah. one shot and you didn't give it to me, so I had to take my shot at you. Yeah, so that's that's it, pretty much. All right. So, anything else, Bree? You wish you would have done differently? Maybe just hope that JP and Grant made it farther in the game. Um, I guess. Yeah. I mean, all like. I didn't know too many, like, other people than, like, Cody and Christian and Corey that really talked to me about it. So, like, I didn't know that, like, Emily would have switched or whatnot. I kind of was just like, okay, we're going to try to see how far I can make it. But eventually I knew my odds were going to come to an end. Well, thanks for playing again, Bree. Appreciate it. All right. We got a newbie on our hands up now. We got John, who... I think was undervalued as every everybody also went for him out of nowhere, which I think people start picking up that he was slithering by and he was, you know, in the majority of the alliances a lot of the time throughout the game. He was swing votes with Vin, you know, you know, we helped get Christian out as well. Um, John, what do you wish you would have done differently? I know you were at a, you know, it was pretty tough. You didn't know anybody besides Jack and he got very early. Um, you guys didn't know, like, like, like I said, not a lot of people. What do you think uh, you could have changed with your game, or to get you further? And you know, I guess I thought you're under the radar, but apparently people realized it pretty quick that you were doing that very well. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't really change much except for the last round that I got out uh, because I just like kind of got lazy and got comfortable with my alliance and like, oh, we're just gonna get out Corey and it's gonna be like a, a quiet one. But then obviously Corey knew that everything was going on, so I was like, fuck. But uh, I should have just, like, put a vote somewhere else as, like, like, a safety vote because then it would have been a 1-1-1 one, one, one split. Um, but got lazy, got comfortable, and it uh, cost me. So Yeah. How did you uh, like your first time? I know you're a huge fan of The Real Show. How did, how did it turn out for you? Uh, it was intense. <laughs> like, the first night, I was kind of like a deer in headlights. Like, I didn't really know what was going on, and, like, you guys were saying that I was flying under the radar, but really I just had no fucking clue what was happening until like the second day. And I was like, all right, I, now I got to start picking up and playing. So that's really all that happened. Well, I think I can announce down here, John, you're playing this Saturday and survivor last chance. You excited? Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Hell yeah, man. Good luck. All right. Thanks. John. Thank you. All right. Next up, we got the survivor fucking, you know, second winner. Dominated both other times he's played. Cody, you led many votes again. What's new? You're in position to win again. What's new? Corey and you bailed hey, it out through. Time. What? What this time? What? Why are you saying he didn't dominate? He dominated this time, too. I Give said him he credit. Did. Like... I said he did. That's what I said. <laughs> Anyways, um, Corey and you bailed it out throughout. That was fun to watch. You know, Vin... Been convinced you kind of took that they were all going to go for court and he plays Lytle. What were your thoughts on your game? I know you played three times. You made it pretty far all three times. Obviously, you won. Dominated the other two times as well. How did you feel watching it back and just living in the moment? I know it was, it was intense seeing a lot of the scenes you were in. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, those two days flew by. I mean, I had a blast. I mean, look at all the people that are in this call. And this isn't even everybody. This is by far the best people I've played with. I mean, every single person here um, played amazing and should be super proud of themselves for whatever time um, they played. But I don't really regret too much. I mean, my hand was kind of forced, and I feel like I had to hit the ground running. Um, I would have liked to slow things down a little bit which I kind of was able to the first day. Um, you know, I didn't lose a challenge before the merge, so that made it easy for me to kind of collect my thoughts. Um, but once we hit the merge, I didn't really have much time to slow down and think to myself and had to make a lot of impromptu choices, and I stand by all the choices I made. Sweet. Thanks, Cody. All right. Mr. Nathan Volk returned for a third time. Plays well both other times. 
And I just want to say, first off, I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. You improved, like, I don't even know if you realized it. You and Cody are running a lot of the game at certain points. Like, you improved really good, dude. And Cody said it multiple times in his interview. And um, I think when he got was about to get voted off, how that you need to get more credit where credit's due. And I think watching it back, especially me, like, watching the film and editing it, you played really good. People are calling you a snake, which is funny. I never thought Nathan would ever be called a snake in my fucking life. Um, I hope you had a good time. How was your journey? How'd you feel about it? You know, you lost Alex at the end. It was kind of just down to you or Corey. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it was pretty fun. Uh, the first two times. like I I did okay but not like super great and those times I like was just kind of my regular self just kind of like going in to have fun but uh this time I wanted to actually like try something new and like make it as far as I could so I wanted to kind of be an ass this game and I guess <laughs> it worked out a little better than being my regular self so um I don't know I mean I had a lot of fun so Great to hear, man. You did well. Give credit where credit's due. All right. Now we got the winter season seven. Came back back to back. Not a lot of people, I don't think, knew who the hell you were going into this unless they watched it. Corey, you played two idols perfectly. You were positioned to win again. Did you enjoy your second try to win again? seem like you're having a fucking time of your life well considering i was literally like hammered the entire time and i was speaking out of my ass 95 percent of the time i had the time of my life it was awesome just playing survivor is just fantastic i love it it's just awesome uh we could all say you're a pretty big villain this season saying to people's faces too which i respect um not afraid to hide who you are when you're trying to play um, how do you think people perceived you after that? I mean, <laughs> well, you know, okay. Okay. You know, if you like know me in real life, you, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I'm a really nice guy. Yeah. But like, you know, sometimes I, I like playing the villain, like being someone who, like what Nathan just said. I like being someone I'm not sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. and I wanted to switch it up. And I did that my last season, too. I was a villain last season. You know, I betrayed a lot of people. And this season, I tried to switch up my game with loyalty, but that kind of fucked me. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I like being a villain. It's fun, you know. It's just awesome. You think Christian's bad? He did good? Oh, absolutely. Christian's just mad that his little brother is better at Survivor than he is. Oh, shit. All right, buddy. I'm pretty sure I took team sacrifice for you. <laughs> you were I could have just said, I could have just said play your idol, and you would have been my little puppy dog and played it right for me. So I don't want to hear it. You didn't play your fucking idol, so I listen. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Hey, why hey, was hey, I going to hey, waste, hey, listen, waste listen, your listen, idols? At, I would have felt at the end of the day. At the end of the People day, I still realize he's a nice kid and he's very emotional. All right, and he takes everything very to heart. If I would have made him play an idol and then he went home. And if the votes weren't on me, if I was wrong, he he would have like thought I hated him, and like thought I did it on purpose. So, because you probably that. would, you probably did. I had no idea. <laughs> you know what <laughs> was like? Christian, what? Christian, but Christian, I'm busting your balls. Don't get so anal about it. Jesus Christ. You and your word choice. Relax. Well, other contestants, anybody can speak. How the hell was it playing with the Davis bros? That looked like fucking scary shit was going on. <laughs> playing with one, playing with one is tricky, but having them both just makes it so much more entertaining. <laughs> I mean, I love the game, and they definitely play super awesome role in the game. They do a great job at it. And every time, I mean, I've had the blessing to play with Christian all three times, and they're always cut short. So, um, but yeah. Awesome. Man, such a blessing. <laughs> Got you that dub. It was also kind of funny because there wasn't um, much like conflict between a lot of the players. 
except those two would just go at it like the entire time we were playing <laughs> and it was just kind of like how they were you know it's just us being competitive we want to win we don't it come there like to have a good time we come here to win i know like, it was I, just funny to see that it was like just the two of you vainly like because it was blood versus water and like all the other pairings were kind of just like calm waters with their like players and you two are just fighting the entire time it was entertaining to watch that's why it's fun because honestly like me and him like it was hard to tell if we were aligned or not because and it was getting to a point that i didn't even know if we were <laughs> like when i went out the first thing i was like i swear to god if Corey voted me out i'm going to beat him up <laughs> i was pissed and then i was like and i just said i hope vin wins and you know what vin you won and probably are one of the top one or two winners and it's not even close because of i don't think people realize what the hell you did in this game but like, still to this day why did you like, just keep hyping up christian i just emily i'm like we'll get to you i definitely think that you should have been don't, second place but don't yeah, yeah all right so <clears throat> moving on we got lita who I'm so happy finally got to play. It took many tries, and we finally got her on. You played very well, socially as well, for sure. You know, you got fourth. Um, How did you enjoy it? How did you feel about your game? And then my biggest question for you is, it seemed like if you um, would have made the final three instead of Ben, everybody was saying you would have won. Why do you think everyone thought you were going to win? Um... I was, first, I want to say I had a fucking blast playing this game. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to do it. Um, <clears throat> I honestly don't know why everyone was so sure that I would have won if I made it uh, to the final three. Um, I mean, I think I played a decent game, but I definitely didn't think it was as clear-cut as everyone made it out to be. Um, but, I mean, it's a huge fucking compliment that everyone was like, oh, yeah, you would have had it if you made it. So, um yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not sure on that one. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got to play it. I think a lot of people enjoyed watching you. I know Richie, shout out to Rich Dog, always somehow loved you. My mom liked watching you and thought you thought you were hilarious. You know, fortunately, your boyfriend got out first, but yeah. you made up for it. Um. All right, now I'm moving into our final. Devin. Huh. Can I please get your mom's review of my game Uh, when we get to me? 100%. I, would, I would just love that. 100%. That's all, I, that's all I'm really here for. 100%. All right, now getting into the final th- top three. Emily, first time you played, I could tell right away. Christian was hyping you and Ben up to me. I'm like, all right, let's see how they really are. We know how Christian can be sometimes. Love you, bro. I was like, damn, she has no knows nobody here, and she's roping people in. She's a social player. She's She's going to do good. You got screwed by Rock. Right away, I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to get her to play again. Then Vin gets screwed. I'm like, all right, I'm getting them for Blood vs. Water. And you guys dropped everything. You're like, I'm coming. I don't care. I don't care if Christian Corey play. I'm like, let's go. You play. You still didn't know a lot of people again. And socially, socially, you dominated. One vote to your name. You led many votes with your boyfriend, Vincent, as well. How do you enjoy your second... Um, second time around, and you think you're robbed of winning or even getting second place, personally, what do you think? Um, so I had a great second time. I also obviously did way better than my first time. <laughs> I was pissed after my first time. So coming back, it was kind of like I got to – no one knew how I played. Like they could have saw first round how I played, but no one knew. So I could have like changed it, which I liked. Um, so I had a blast. Also, shout out to Lita. She played a great game. She was also my favorite. But, um, honestly, I think I got robbed. And to this day, I will say I got robbed. I don't think I deserve to get third. I feel like I at least deserve second in the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, I think it boiled down to re- not really listening to what I had to say fully. And I think her mind was already made up about voting for Leah. And I appreciate Kathy saying like she would have voted for me too, because 
I know she was watching the whole game as it was going as well. And if Brie was actually watching, I feel like she would have saw that my game was better than Leah's. And I was towards the end controlling even what Vin was saying to people, which I don't think I now watching it. You can see that I was telling Vin what to say. And he was trying to say that he was saying it, but it was coming from my mouth. So I think I deserved at least second. And also, everyone's hyping up Ben's game. It was good. Don't get me wrong. But like you said, he came in knowing a lot more people than what I did. So if you look at it. the same people. Shut up. No, we didn't. We we didn't go to Devin's house three times before the game. (laughs) No, but we didn't know everyone playing. I knew just as many people as you. Okay, whatever. But, yeah. I think in the grand scheme of things, I deserve second, if not first. Thank you for voting for me, Corey. Oh, you're so welcome. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Corey, I was getting to it. Corey, I was getting to it. You're my... I think... Corey didn't... Corey only voted for her because he felt bad. No, because he was my number one alliance through and through. I could have voted you well. Well, then why are you mad at me for voting out Vin? If Corey... Because Corey would have beat... Because it's the same reason you wouldn't have... I would have beat Ben out. In my head, I thought I was beating Ben out. Corey, they all knew had, they would lose to me. They, everyone knew they would lose to no, me. <laughs> if Corey made it, everyone knew that he was going to win. Because he played one of the best games. Yeah, so fuck that guy. So, if we're playing, if we're doing it all, when it came down to the final five of us, we knew Lita had to go and Corey had to go. No, Emily, I was saying, why are you, why are you mad at me for voting for oh. Ben? When you're like, what? well, Corey voted for me because he's my number one alliance. I started the game with Vin. Realistically, if you start on my tribe instead of Vin, and, like, the game went exactly the same way, there's probably a great chance I might have cast him a vote towards you instead because yeah. I would have seen more of your game. And to be honest, your final tribal council speech focused a lot about what Vin didn't do and not a lot about what you did. And granted, I think you did plenty in that game to have deserved the title of Still Survivor, but you didn't talk about it enough. And everybody was just trying to put Vin down. And if everybody's mind is so focused on Ben, it's clearly obvious he was the sole survivor of that season. And that's why I okay, cast my vote for him. Okay. That's fine. Um, I also feel like it came with other things while your vote did, but that's okay. We can we can have a pissing contest and see why you did what you did. But we all know when, if it boiled down to me or Ben to begin with, you would have voted for Ben. Even if you didn't know what the game happened. I just love my girlfriend and my ice cream, and I don't want to argue with anybody. God, you're so cute, Vin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, that was great to hear. Emily, you played great. Um, definitely one of the top girls players we've had. That's one of the best players we've had in general, I think. So thanks for coming again and playing. You did great. All right. Thank Leah. You, you got second place. You know, you seem like you didn't ever really want to play when we've tried getting you, and you finally did. You did, you know, fairly well. You were the decoy vote a lot of rounds. Um, you were in the conversations. Um, and I know there was a point in the game where it seemed like you weren't enjoying it that much, which was tough to hear, but how did you feel about your game? Um, did you still enjoy it? And, yeah. Um, so I definitely did enjoy playing, but – definitely stressed me out a little bit um so I got worn out towards the end a little bit or like towards the middle um and then I got my second win um but I definitely think I like watching more (laughs) um as for my game I didn't really know what I was doing when I was going into things and like looking back on it I probably would try and be like more of like a stronger voice um but I did try to like make alliances and form with, like, stay with people that I thought um, I could trust more and that I thought would help me get to the end. Yeah. Well, you know, I always need people to help me play and stuff like you and Kathy are doing for Season 9. So even though you, you know, probably don't want to play again, you know, I'm glad you gave it a try. And, I mean, look, you got second place, no matter what anyone wants to say. Yeah, I think I'll just... Stay with second and not play again. <laughs> well, thanks for giving it a try. Um, now, moving on to our sole survivor, Vin. Fucking A, baby. First off, love you. 
second off, you're the fucking shot caller. You're calling your winning the game from the beginning, which, you know, a lot of people just, a lot of people fucking say that, you know, I'm winning this, you know, like just saying that not many people actually end up doing it. And you said it multiple times throughout the game and it was funny to watch. And I'm like, damn, he actually might do it. I really thought it was going to come down. Once it got down to the final six, I'm like, Nathan or Ben are going to win this. Like, it's just a matter of who's going to get past his vote. And you beat him in the dart challenge, and honestly, that could have determined who won. You obviously, you know, you know, started your dominance, I think, in the game when you got Kathy out. You know, you, you got one of her best friends to vote against her. Um, you know, was, Christian's vote was tough for your alliance, but you recovered. You led many votes, yet, you know... A lot of people, huh? Who's waiting? No, not, not, that's Emily's. Yeah. Sorry. A lot of people, you know, were happy you made it there and were excited that you were going to win. A lot of people were like, Vin played the best. He didn't backstab me. He was a loyal player. <laughs> you know, you let a lot of stuff. That's what people are saying at the jury when we're, when they're vo- asking you questions. You know, everyone seemed to trust and listen to you. And my mom's evaluation, she thought you were the funniest person she's <laughs> ever seen. She's like, where is this guy from? And, see, and your first time, even. Um, I don't know if she's seen if you've seen you actually win yet, so I'll have to give you an update on that. But she's like, she likes you as a player. I'll tell you that. She loves Nathan, too, and Lita. Um, I love that. We love that. Um, but how was your ride? Any comments? I know your girl over there is giving you a hard time. She should have should have beat you in her eyes. But... Do you enjoy it, man? How do you feel about your game? You think you think you deserved it? Because I know you. I'm sure you think that. But. I mean, I, I I fucking loved it. I mean, this is just like this is, this is the most fun that you could have doing anything. Like 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 this is the best ten dollars you could ever spend to do anything <laughs> ever. Like Damn, that's a cool. Like it is phenomenal. Like like honestly, props to you guys. Like you put so much time and like effort into it, and like you could really tell. It's just like a lot of fun. But, I mean, besides that, I mean, if I was an outsider looking in, I I really don't see how you can't vote me to win the season. I mean, I was talking my shit from day one. Like, like I, I there's just, you have that feeling, and I was like, there's no way I lose this game. Like, I mean, I, I went to every single tribal with the, with the famous uh, Jeff, I don't like being outside quote. <laughs> and uh, I just really really was out there every time and i don't know how many votes i really got towards me it wasn't a lot and i feel like i was able to just pull strings the whole game i was loyal to the people who didn't try and backstab me and when people did try and backstab me they ended up going home and i mean i really i really thought i played a a pretty well balanced game so um if you would have gotten out there at final four I remember you saying in an interview, Lita's going to win. I know she's right next to you, but would you have voted for Emily to win? Truthfully, I, w- I would have voted for Emily because I think, like, I mean, I like I said before, I think I played a really good game. And I think if, like, the person who played a lot, like me and Emily have similar games. Like, she's a little more social than I am. And I play more, like, challenges than she does but it's like we have a very similar game and i think that if it just off of like watching the game and being around them i i would have cast it for her i mean i can completely see why you would vote for lita like i mean she she killed it she she managed to stay alive she was winning challenges like like she was a great player even emily said it herself that she thinks lita was the best player this season and, yeah, I mean, she killed it. I mean, it would have went both ways. I mean, I think that even if I got to that final four, Emily's, or at final three, say Emily somehow went home, it's me, Lita, Leah, I think Lita beats me. You think? I would have vote for you. Yeah. Just off of challenge. I mean, I, she had more challenges than me. She had that little girl thing going on. Yeah, I wouldn't have voted for you. I would have voted for Lita. Yeah, Emily's a traitor to our cause and you know it would have been great <laughs> well i appreciate you coming but, huh 
I was saying, but I feel like I I pulled all the strings to to make it make this game happen for me. I think you're a very worthy winner, Vin. I think Emily. Most seasons, I think you would have won too. I think a lot of you guys need to realize too that this is a stat cast. Like, <clears throat> I mean, this might be a spoiler, but a lot of you are going to be in Legends personally. I think, like, you guys deserve to be. I mean. You know, a lot of the challenges weren't as, you know, physically demanding, and that was on purpose. I wanted to make it more about you guys, how you guys were going to play the game. And that's why I did. And it was it was really fun to see, you know. I love watching Christian, you know, play well. I love watching Kathy play. I love watching Cody. But I really enjoyed watching people that maybe were in the shadows more in past seasons or, you know, got screwed over, like Vin, Emily, Lita, Nathan, um, you know, I loved watching you guys play and, you know, really come on your own. Um, so I'm really happy you guys all played. Um, it was fun season to watch. You know, I was planning it for a while. I'm glad how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'm going to reveal the fan favorite player this season. Now, unfortunately, not a ton of people voted, which sucks. But, you know, it was some close votes. So I had to make some tough decisions because it was very close and it was almost ties. So hopefully not all of you guys are mad at me, but so first off for fan favorite, it was between. Drum roll, please. Huh? I said drum roll, please. So it came down to. Is Kyle here for the drum roll? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a meme in there with him doing it. So it came down to two people. It came down to Miss Lita Joe and it came down to Nathan. A tough between one vote between you guys. Your fan favorite of season eight Blood vs. Water is Lita. Yay! Congrats, Lita. I'm glad you gave it a shot. Look what happens. Nathan, love you, bro, too. I voted for you personally. Lita, I love you too, but, you know, you guys, I think we're the, I mean, you two are the two of the most likable players easily. I think everybody can agree with that. Yeah, that's fair. I would have voted for Nathan too. <laughs> can we have the most dislikable player? Like, is that a yeah. thing? Can we have a thing next time? I think can we you have know most hated done. player? Can we have most hated player? I also think Nicole should get a uh, her own fan favorite award. <laughs> like, see you, man? Nicole's getting the CEO award? Yeah. Also, Nathan, the fact that you were a bell in this season and yet somehow you still found a way to warm everybody's hearts. Like, Sorry, are you know. kidding me? Watch it, watch the scene of you going, I just can't vote her out, dude. That's my girlfriend. I was literally, I was <laughs> that, like, that's the most, <laughs> that was the most heartwarming thing I've seen since like, at, heart. like since the notebook or something. <laughs> still can't even blood, tell man. if I'm a... <laughs> um, I still can't at that time, bro, he literally... <laughs> Hmm? At that tribal base, it goes, do I even have to go vote? <laughs> <laughs> oh, when Brie got out. He did not want to go in there. <laughs> yeah, well, congrats, Lita. Now to the player of the season. It came down to three players, very close again. It came down to Corey, Vin, and Cody. Drum roll, please, Kyle. The player of the season, it's crazy. He's done it again. Cody, you're the player of the season. Congrats, man. Thank you. For everyone that voted for me. Appreciate it. You know, I think all three of you guys, you know, were easily top, you know, anyone could argue top five players of the season. You know, Cody placed the worst out of the three of them, but... I think even Corey is like in his interviews every time he's like, I can't believe what this guy is doing. I think just the fact that, you know, you've won, everybody knows how you play and you're still roping people in. Um, and it's nothing, nothing to discredit Corey and Ben. They both play very good. Ben won the game for a reason. You know, Corey, you, you know, you played two perfect idols, you know, Ben helped, you know, you guys, you know, talked about playing them, but you played them and you negated nine votes out of the 12 that you received this season, you know? which is impressive as hell. Um, so, yeah, I think you guys are three of the best players of the season. 
I think it's tough because now, you know, Legend is going to be coming up for most of you guys, and it's going to be an intense ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We have Season 9 Last Chance getting filmed this Saturday. It'll be coming out soon. And, you know, people are going to be fighting for their last spots, you know, to be in Legends. So I hope you guys tune in to watch that. I think we got a cast of a lot of people that, you know, maybe aren't the best players but deserve a second chance. And, you know, there's a mix of any, everything you can name in that season that's coming up Saturday. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to bring oh up. Oh, my God, it's on Saturday? Yeah. Watch out for John, dude. He's Cody Jr., I swear to God. Oh, oh, I completely agree. John's my... Uh, John's gonna win. John's John's cold. Cold. I will be there and I will be fully behind John. <laughs> you guys putting a target well, on my back you know, already. Gonna, no one's gonna yeah, see this until after. You know, don't worry, John. Did, I guarantee you don't smile if you watch. Someone else on this season Someone else on this season is gonna be playing with John. They're gonna be like, hey, everyone in the reunion is like, get out, John. <laughs> <laughs> If they say that, I it's gonna be like it's all because they called me Cody Jr. because Cody just won player of the season. Like this guy. Well, you know, all I have to say, go ahead. All I have to say is if I see Richie playing this Saturday, I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> oh my God, I pray that fucking Richie's playing. Richie! Hey, he deserves it. He, he should have won. But he he does. Does. Richie should have beat you. <laughs> Why does Richie need a last chance, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. Richie needs every I don't know if Richie. Richie for I don't know. I think Richie's time could be coming up. I think. Love the guy, but I don't Richie know. Richie for Jeff Roach. Can we have Richie host Legends? You want to? Want him to? That'd be freaking. <laughs> that that that'd be sick. I'll, I'll step be back. So Do you really hate Devin funny. that much? Devin, get one more. No, no, no. I love Devin, but I want Devin to play. Devin plays Richie hosts. Let's do it. Michael should host if anything. Richie's got a podcast, bro. He has to, like, live react for us. Haven't you ever seen Rich Dog reacts on Snapchat? Shout out. Those are some actually, like, if you want a true analysis of your game and, like, advice, watch that. Because this kid, literally, with who he is, went to the final, that's literally impossible. I don't even know how he made it. Like, seriously. Honestly, though, Richie Richie is our entire, is is our, uh, he's our big social media. And I think we do need him in the Rich Dog reacts. No, yeah. No matter what anyone says about Richie, he's made he's helped make Survivor White Water what it is. Oh, for sure, hundred percent. Well, we love Richie. The floor is your guys's. We can go for a little bit longer. I can't wait to find out. Like my game. What do you say, Ben? Uh, my, I have one statement. Uh, um, we're going back to New Jersey, so I hope you all have a great school year. Yeah. I'm hoping to see you all during winter break if I can. Yeah, I hope but, to see you too, man. Yeah, just, but yeah, just all you all you kill in school, and I hope you have a great time and live it up. And I have some of you are seniors, so enjoy it. And it's been great playing with you guys and becoming friends with you guys. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just wanted to say that. What he said. Ditto. Safe travel. You're making me yeah, tear thank up. You, thank you guys for, uh, you know, this last year has been kind of crazy. I know. Most of you Whitewater people, I've been around a lot more than I ever expected, and you guys have actually become such some of my really close friends, and it's been fantastic. Um, so hopefully I get to see you guys again. Hopefully I get selected for Legends. We'll see. Um, we'll go from there. Also, yeah. you asked Nicole asked a question you mentioned before, Vin, about Vin. Um, where the heck did we find this dude? Uh, I – this kid was trying to convince me that Sam Darnold was the next great quarterback, and that's where we found him. Damn right, blockhead boy. <laughs> I thought he was going to be the greatest thing ever. Take. Happened. Is Zach Wilson the guy now? Bro, I was so I was the greatest player of our generation. I was a young seventeen-year-old chap from Kenworth, New Jersey, who was a delusional Jets fan, and I still don't know about the Mormon boy, but. Zach Wilson looks like a high school freshman. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, but his mom's a MILF, so, like, I see Sisters. that as an absolute win. Yeah, no. Well, you know those Nashville kids know something about MILF, so we'll go on it on that. Shit. Well, you know, I think we'll leave it at that. I think we touched on everything I want to touch on. I'm sure, you know, there's a little bit here and there. But, you know, um, I know it's been tough. You know, I – I kind of zoomed through the season a little bit, airing stuff, you know. Um, but, you know, we have more seasons to c- cover, and 
I really hope you guys go back and watch it if you haven't. Um, last chance, I think. We'll have a little twist manner feeling behind it. I think it'll be entertained to watch for sure. And Leah and Kathy and Cody have been helping me plan it and organize a lot of it, which I'm excited for. I think it will turn out really well. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys, you know, if you get if you don't get stuck for Legends, I hope you don't take it too personal. You know, I've it's it's not going to be a, per, a personal preference either. It's, you know, it's going to be I'm really going to like dive deep to figure out who should be on it. And, you know, I asked a lot of people to play in last chance that I thought were on the bubble of maybe making it or not. So, you know, if they couldn't be able to compete, if they weren't able to play in that, unfortunately, that might be their, you know, only time. Um, Plan to do that in January, just a heads up for, you know, some of you guys will get selected. I'm probably going to do over winter break. Um, but I appreciate you guys all playing. I think the season turned out great. Um, congrats to Ben. Congrats to Cody, player season. Congrats to Lita, fan favorite. Um, I'm really glad you guys all played, and I think it came, down, came well together for two days, which we haven't done before. So thank you guys. Really appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you, Thanks, Devin. Yeah, thank you for all thank you. Great Thanks, Dad. Thanks, the best season thank so you. Far. And thank best you. production by far. Charlotte, you, Hunter, Kyle, the whole crew. Yeah. Good shit. Especially dude. Kyle's yeah. Kyle's yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thank you to the crew. Really cool. Kyle was interviewing people. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys have a great night. Viewers, tune in. You know, season nine is going to be coming soon. Um, you'll be seeing all these faces again. Spoiler alert, but I think it's pretty obvious. You know, appreciate you guys, and I'll see a lot of you guys soon. Later. See you, everybody.